welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be cooking, testing out some holiday recipes. I have Nikki here. Come on, she's always so shy. She just got a spray tan, that's why she looks so nice and tanned. Um, and she's in her PJs, I'm in my comfy clothes. We're just testing out recipes for Christmas, hosting Christmas this year. Nikki and her parents are coming to my Christmas dinner, so I have to get these recipes right. And, oh, and? <laughs> we're gonna film the whole thing. And we're gonna film the whole thing, because you guys love, that's like one of the most things, well actually the most things I get requested for is you. I don't even think they want to see me. <laughs> we did um, a baking homemade pasta video and you loved it. So we're gonna be testing out pesto tree TikTok. We're, most of these I found on, you found on TikTok, right? Yeah. Pesto tree. A pesto like cheese bomb, pesto but in the shape of a Christmas bomb. tree. Um, then we're gonna be testing out a caramelized onion dip and then we're gonna be making Christmas crack. So we have all that to do today. It is now 6.15. Oh, I also made homemade bread today, but that's besides the point. I'm getting very distracted. Okay, but before we get into all of the baking, I just wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in, from audiobooks to podcasts to Audible originals. They have everything for you. Audible has the best selection of audiobooks from any genre. I love business books, but I also recently have been really loving kind of listening to romance books to unwind um, after a long day while I'm cleaning up, or if I'm just driving in the car, I'll throw on um, like a romance book, and it kind of like lets me disconnect. And I'm not a music person, I always say this, so I'm always listening to podcasts and audiobooks, and Audible is the best app for that because you can listen to literally everything you want on this one app. As an Audible member, you will get to pick one title a month to keep from their entire catalog from any genre. And then as a member, you also get access to included audiobooks, Audible originals, podcasts. So it really is the best place where you get the most value for your money. I personally, like I said, always listen to two types of books, either um, business books or romance books. If you are new to Audible and you want to kind of test the waters. I really recommend Colleen Hoover. I am obsessed with her and her audiobooks and literally they will just immerse you into the entire world. Literally will have you hooked within the first five seconds of listening. Um, but I have so many other recommendations for my favorite business books and even like other like self-help kind of books like Atomic Habits. But Colleen Hoover, trust me, you will not be disappointed. So if you wanted to test out Audible for free for the first 30 days, you can go to audible.com slash Tony or text Tony to 500 500. So Nikki you can come on back in here. Here's the game plan. We are going to start with the pesto cheese bombs Nikki. Do you want to pull up a picture so we can kind of show them the vibe the thing we're going for? It was a real. The creator is Love Viv. Love Viv. Ooh those look so good. And they're it's a cheesy pesto pull apart bread. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so good. You can watch the reel here. For that, you are going to need pizza dough crust. We just got this from um, RG. I didn't even know that Pillsbury had pizza dough crust. That would have made my life a lot easier whenever I made homemade pizza. You need mozzarella cheese sticks. You need butter. Have you seen the price of butter these days? It's crazy. And then you're gonna need Parmesan and pesto. It is literally that simple. So we're preheating the oven to 400. 400, but before we do that, I think we should make a Bartesian drink. Honestly, this Bartesian is really expensive, but I've used it so many times and every single drink I've had out of it has been amazing. Nothing I could have made at home, by no means. I could never make a pomegranate margarita at home. Um, and they have just like fun drinks. So like I said, I'm hosting the holidays. I ordered a bunch of Bartesian cocktails, not sponsored by them. Um, I paid for them myself. And I'm so excited because then you, people can just pick their alcohol, alcohol of choice and make the cocktail in five seconds. Cheers. It's really good. Mmm, strong, that's good. Did you do a strong one? No. It's so good. So do you want to cut the dough and I'll cut the cheese? Sure. I never know how to open these things. Like that? But it never pops open. Really, I just like, yeah, there that's it. Go. Whoa, this is a quite the log. It looks like an amuse-bouche. I mean, a... An amuse-bouche? <laughs> what is it, a bouche de Noël? I have no idea what you're saying. A Christmas log? Yeah. Well, maybe we should put these this here so that when they're ready, 
We can put them right on the pan in the Christmas tree setting. Do you think these are good sizes? We don't want them to be too small. Yeah. Well, you want a good amount of cheese in your mouth. Yeah, like you want an explosion. So I'm assuming you just take one of these and stretch it a little bit. And stuff it. And stuff it. Can I try one? Of course. There you go. Oh, and then you want to make it into the size of like a Christmas tree. And they all kind of like bake into each other. So they become like a pull apart moment. And this is a really easy recipe. I've never had a mozzarella cheese stick. I only had the ones that I have been are like yellow and orange. These are the ones that my mom bought as a kid, the mozzarella oh, ones. Oh really? No, I own, my, Melanie only bought the two-toned. Melanie. Leo's um. very excited for these. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, Leonard. Let me try the cheese. You were dying to try it. I really was. Mozzarella is my least, like... It just bakes nicely. Like, it yeah, melts nicely. Yeah, it has, nicely. like, a good pull. Okay. doesn't have to be perfect. No. And it'll bake and it'll look perfect. In By the, the shape way, of a tree. This is the best pesto in the world. Let it me will, see if I can It see. will change your life. We're gonna bake this for 16 to 18 minutes and then we pesto, we cheese it, and I don't know, my mouth is already watering. I hope this doesn't catch my house on fire like the other one. I'm so excited. Mm. I'm excited. Look, we have all this extra cheese. I don't want it. Ooh! Slide it around. That is so cute! It looks like a Christmas tree. I think they're done. Yeah, I think they're done. The next step is to take a brush. We only have the barbecue one, but that's okay. Okay, we have and to, we adapt. Brush pesto. Okay, so we have our pesto, best pesto from Costco. So we're gonna scoop it on. And brush it on. Ooh. So it gets into every nook and cranny. And it's like green like a Christmas tree. That's the point. Oh, <laughs> duh. Ooh, my goodness. Let's put some on the stump. Mm. Let's use all the pesto that we have. Cause so like, I just like pour it on. Yeah, and it's like melting. Oh my God, it looks like snow! <laughs> like, was that the point? Am I just like a doorknob? <gasps> oh, that was anticlimactic. There was no pull. You didn't miss anything. Okay, wait, let's pull them with our fingers. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh, mine's no, there's no pull in mine. Mine had a pull. <laughs> Missing something. I'm not gonna lie. I expected a little bit more. Okay, I am gonna put some chili, crunchy chili oil from Momofuku. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Mm. Really? Mm. Okay, let me try it. You're you're really making it sound good. Mmm, so good. You know what I think it was missing salt. Mmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of truffle salt. You know what? It's good. What's salt? It needed salt. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Tony, that is good. It needed salt. But I feel like we're also missing out on the good, like, gooey inside ones. Like, okay, go for it. Look at that. Is it hot? <laughs> like a, like a breadstick. Okay, that's really fucking good. <laughs> you know what we should have done? We put garlic butter on them before mm. we bake them. I would honestly get a brick of mozzarella cheese because it's better than cheese sticks and cut it into cubes. You don't need to just get cheese sticks. I would put garlic butter on them before I bake them so it oozes into the bread and makes it all garlicky. Then top it with your pesto, your parmesan. Make sure you put enough salt on it because it'll bring out the flavors and dip it in, make it like a little hot sauce dip to dip it in. The recipe alone, I give a six on 10. Your smoked mussels are in my way. Don't discriminate against my smoked mussels. Okay, so recipe number two is from this cookbook, Casserole and Yon. Oh, and you have your homemade bread. <gasps> I didn't even plan that. Casserole and Yon's influencer from Quebec. You really threw me off there, I'm so excited. And so on Christmas, one of the dips, one of the entrees we're having is a caramelized onion dip. Now, I personally love just like a French onion soup mix into sour cream. Mm, we were raised on that. But this looks also very delicious. This recipe is in French, but it seems very easy. All you need is one and a half cups white onion, two, what's a coupe soup? 
Is that a teaspoon? Oh yeah, Koopa Tab. Okay, two teaspoons of maple syrup, two teaspoons of butter, one cup of softened light cream cheese, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and salt. And that's it. But do you have to cook it or bake it? I think you have to cook the onions, and then you take them out. Yeah, cook the onions. Sorry, this in, cookbook is in French. I'm and so we're not it. that good at French. So you, you cut the onions, and then you... Cook them in maple syrup and butter for 15 minutes. Yeah. On a skillet? Or in, in, in casserole, I don't know. Like, I trust her because all her recipes are very good, but I feel like it needs more spices, you know? I trust her. Onions have very intense flavor. Do you want me to cut it? Or you want to do it? I can do it if you figure out what to do with the cream cheese. Oh, yeah. Because it says we need to soften the cream cheese. If anyone knows what that means. No, I think you just leave it out at room temperature. But it's still cold, no? Well, not by the time you get to fit. No, it's like literally so soft and mushy gushy. Nice. Are you sure we're supposed to use cream cheese and not sour cream? I think it's cream cheese. Okay. I even Can you it. tell how well we did in school at, in French class? Am I supposed to dice the onion? No, you're supposed to slice, like, slice them, you know? I don't know what it says. Well, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> this onion is the size of my noggin. That's what Tony said to me in, in the store. I said no such thing. <laughs> now we have our like room temperature cream cheese. So a half a teaspoon of paprika. We're eyeballing here. Yeah, eyeball. And now we're just gonna mix it with our little mixer. Do you want salt? Oh yeah. Do you think that's good or more? We'll taste it. Oh, whoa, 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 I love it. Cheese all whipped up. Looks a little bit thick to be a dip, not gonna lie. Do you find it looks thick? No, I find dips are thick. Well, it's missing the, the key oh, ingredient. Right. <laughs> Forgot. All right, so for the dip, I'm going to cut my very own loaf of bread that I made. Let me know if you need a recipe or want a recipe because it was so easy and so cheap. So I'm just going to cut it in a few slices so we can toast it and try our dip. Okay, so once we whip it up and our onions have cooled for 10 minutes, we're going to mix them all together. Okay, so this is the dip. We have my homemade bread, which looks like I bought it at a store. And I'm gonna spread some. Mm, it it does look good. good. Ooh! That was a hefty onion. This is what it looks like. I guess I'll spread an onion on too. Cause the onions are like intense. Well, you, you have to spread the onion. Mmm! That was shockingly good. That's shockingly good. It is shocking. That's amazing. Where did that come from, Nikki? The onions. I'm telling you, they were cooked in like. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Cass never has steered us the wrong way. No, she really hasn't. And you were skeptic about this recipe because you tried the cream cheese with paprika. <laughs> it's magical. Yeah, it's really good. 12 on 10. Oh. So now the last recipe we're trying is Christmas crack and it is literally the best thing you will ever try. It is, you take a layer of Ritz crackers. I've also seen this done with kind of like pretzel crackers, but the Ritz crackers are the best because they're buttery. Then you make caramel, then you sprinkle it with chocolate chips and you let it set and it's so good. Literally one of the best things I've ever had. So we have all of our Ritz crackers laid out here. They're in the shape of snowflakes. And the next thing to do is to heat a third a cup of butter with a third a cup of brown sugar and make a caramel, basically. It's that easy. So the caramel has cooked for five minutes. Now I'm just going to pour it on top of the crackers. Is this too many crackers? No. Spread it out a little with the spatula. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to, because they have to like stick together, you know? I want them all to have some caramel. They're all going to stick together because once they get cold, the caramel just like... I know, but they won't stick together if they don't have caramel on it. <laughs> so now we have to put this in the oven for five minutes. Now we sprinkle the chocolate chips on and then we're gonna bake it for another two minutes. Okay. 
Tell me when you tell me when you think it's enough. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god, that sound really triggers me because it's my alarm in the morning. Now the chocolate is melted, so we're going to just spread. Oof. Mm -hmm. Spread it over the top. I feel like we could have increased the amount of caramel and increased the amount of chocolate. I think it'll be fine. Well, some people are just gonna have Ritz crackers with nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> they all do. This, there's like a big chunk there. I got you this for Christmas last year. You did? Your most used gift ever. Okay. Okay. So now, I'm going to pop this in the fridge for how long? As long as it needs, maybe like half an hour. For like half an, an hour. hour. All right, so our Christmas crack is all ready. It's been sitting in the fridge. So what's the next step? Nikki? We gotta crack it up. Ooh. Oh, I feel like it's not fully cracked. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna put it back in the fridge. You don't pick them off once a time, one at a time. What you do you just do? like. Like you like. Huh, it's not done. I think we should just try it and put it back. In we the need fridge. to put it in the freezer. I think. Why don't we put it outside? Mmm. I think I need to go in the freezer. It's still really good. Should I stick it outside or that is something gonna eat it? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I'm making us two teas from the David's Tea Advent Calendar. Nikki's getting cranberry ginger ale and I'm getting glitter and gold. And it looked like they had little gold flecks in it. And we're watching our friend Michelle's newest movie. Christmas checklist. Christmas checklist. So this glitter and gold tea smells so good. Can I smell it? it smells like a lush bath bomb. Yours smells so good too. I know. I always find they smell so good, but they don't taste like anything. Because you have to put honey. We're going to go drink our tea and watch the movie. So yeah, today I'm actually going to do a Christmas fair. My best friend Jana has her own company and she has a little pop-up at a Christmas fair and there's uh, so many little vendors. So I'm gonna go there. I love going to these little markets, supporting small businesses from Montreal. So that's the game plan for today. All right, so this is what I'm wearing today. This is just a little um, buttoned up, what did I just step on? Little buttoned up sweater from Aritzia with some Lululemon leggings. I wanted an all black outfit because this is the jacket or the coat I wanted to wear. This is from Nicole Benisi. And then my boots are from H&M. And I think for my bag, I'm going to wear this one because it goes with all the brown tones. Hey guys, so I just got home. The market was so fun. I got to meet a lot of you guys actually. And then I also got to discover so many unique like local brands that I otherwise would never have like known about. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul and um, there were so many, like so many amazing small brands there. Um, but I did a lot of Christmas shopping. So Nikki and Alicia tune out right now. Nikki, stop watching. Like I know you watch my videos, so stop watching because I'm gonna show you guys I got them some gifts. Uh, like honestly, like such amazing. People are so talented. It's insane the first thing i picked up is from the brand sunday comfort and it is in i saw this sweatsuit i'm not kidding from across the room i ran over and i immediately bought it because it's in the most oh wait oops. it is in the most delicious brown color like i don't have a brown like this i don't know if the color is coming off correctly but it's like a really pretty nudie brown so they just look like this and then it says sunday comfort made in montreal so they're made in montreal i got the pants and then i also got, and then i also got the matching sweater you guys know i love a matching sweatsuit the color is really what got me it's really really cute and they're so incredibly soft on the um inside even the tag is so cute. The quality is great. And then this is the sweater. It just says Sunday Comfort. The inside is so soft. They also had a black one and they also had a matching t-shirt, but I just picked up 
the um, sweater and the pants. Jana, my best friend, has um, her own line and she specializes in making teas. She is a herbalist, so she makes all different teas. I don't know how she does it. I was literally like, how do you come up with these recipes? She knows what each herb is good for and what it's used for and she knows which ones would taste good together. So I actually bought the Yoga Trio. This is for tightening and toning, blended to pair perfectly with your yoga practice. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing yoga anytime soon, but the tightening and toning got me. Um, oh my God, it's so cute, she's so cute. So you have the happy tea, and then the beautiful sea tea, and the lovely rosy tea. Everything is compostable. She's like really into that kind of stuff. Crystal's compostable. She's gluten dairy free. Like, I don't know how we're best friends. We cannot be more different. I'm like, give me the dairy, give me the gluten. She like is so healthy and so, she teaches me so much. Anyway, so these are the three teas. They all come in bags. They're all like pre-packaged in bags. So it's not like loose leaf tea because I find that so annoying, loose leaf tea. This I got for my sister and Nikki and me, one for myself. It's from the brand Feu and Co. They all smelled so good. So normally, I'm not even gonna lie, I find soy candles don't smell really good. I feel like, I love Bath & Body Works candles, but like, apparently they're not good for you. So I just don't find soy candles ever smell as good as like Bath & Body Works candles, but these do. These smell just as good, just as good as Bath & Body Works candles. So, and the packaging is so cute. This one I got for my sister. It's a Palo Santo candle, and look how cute it is. It has like little crystals in the top. It smells so freaking good. It says it burns for 50 hours. It's made in Quebec. It's a soy candle. Like literally, she's going to love that. I wanna keep it for myself. It smells so good, and then you get to keep the crystals after. And then, which one is this? I got Nikki this one, gum. Bayoun bubble gum. It smells so good. Look how cute the packaging is. I don't know. They were they literally I wanted to buy all of them. They all smelled so good. And then for myself or my mom, I haven't decided if I want to be selfish or give it to her. I got marshmallow fireside, which is or toasted marshmallow, sorry. And Okay, no, I'm keeping this for myself. It smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. And what it comes in is also really nice. So after you burn the candle, you can keep it and reuse it. So that I was really excited about. I'm excited to give that to them. Then I saw these and they are so cute. I knew I had to get them for us. We're all iced coffee lovers. And what is this brand? Oh no, I hope they put a card. Oh yeah, she put a card. Um, This is what it is. And she has a website, O-O-A-K, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ooak, by Sarah.com. I'll leave it down below. So I got this one. It says cold brew. And then this one I got for Nikki because she loves matcha. I Like, who would have thought to do that? And these are like, I, I'm going to start going to these, these things more often. And they come with glass um, straws. And this one says coffee. I don't know which one I want to keep to myself. I kind of like this one, the cold brew. One of them I'm going to give to my sister. And I'm going to give the matcha one to Nikki. Okay, so then I went to A La Table by Hannah. I was drawn in by the cheese. They had different cheeses and it just looked so good. And so then they also had like little charcuterie boxes that you can buy um, that were so cute. They had single ones and then ones you can buy um, like two of them, I'll put a picture of it because they're so cool. But I bought the coolest cheeses ever. She loved cheeses like me, so she was going through kind of explaining what each of them were. This is a pesto cheese, it's green. And then this one is rosemary and olive oil. There was only one of these left, so I snatched it up. You guys know cheese is like my favorite thing in the world. And then I also got this French onion jam. She said she, it's so good put in a grilled cheese. Like, I was like, say no more, I need it. Then when I moved into my house, Nikki and Ali got me some spices from this brand, which I love. It's the brand um, Canel. I didn't know it was a Montreal brand, but their spices are so good. I got the Porcini Umami Rub, 
Um, finely ground porcini mushrooms with oregano, black pepper, and cayenne in a, this luxuriously rich and nutty umami bomb. Like, sign me up. I love anything with umami. So they come in this, like, little container, and then the spice comes in this bag. And I guess you can... Oh, my God. It even smells so good just opening it up. Okay, so I got that one. And then I got... Stockholm lemon and dill. So this is so good on fish, on chicken, and especially in salads. Then I got this for my sister, organic sweet Jamaican jerk. She loves jerk chicken. I mean, I do too, but she's always saying, I need to find jerk chicken powder. I need to find jerk chicken powder. So I picked that up for her. And then I picked this up for me. I did a lot, I did a lot of Christmas shopping for me. Um, it is the little salt pack. They had little samples on popcorn. And it was so good. Even my best friend who does not like truffle loved the truffle salt. Did a little bit of damage. I also lost my car when I was leaving the event. I could not find it. Um, but I made it home. I have to do some boring accounting stuff.